welcome to whiskey.com news on the 14th of February 2022. Happy Valentine's Day. And yes, as you see, I'm not in my studio. I'm, I'm kind of in the cocktail studio. That's not quite cocktail studio anymore because the studio is, uh, yeah, has a bit of a renovation going on. We're going to move the camera a bit back so we get better green screen performance and we're going to ban the um, computer that is recording everything into a little, yeah, into a new little room and we're going to hopefully try to move the microphones a bit further to our mouth so the quality hopefully will be increased. And if we have quality issues, it's always due to a fault of our own, due to a user fault. Yeah, so that was to our studio. Let's get back to the news. Um, Aaron Machri Moore, 10 years limited edition. There will be a limited edition from the Lohranza distillery. Yeah, first uh, uh, limited edition is a PD1 from uh, called Machri Moore. And it will be 46% and will be uh, coming up to the market pretty soon. Then we have Tomatin. They are investing £150,000 into the Highland tourism and they want to invest it into a yeah, re re renewable, not renewable, uh, sustainable way into yeah, enhancing the environment and yeah, sustainable tourism. Yeah, then we have uh, Ben Romach Kara Gold. Yeah, it's a new um, bottling. It's 11 years old. It was distilled 2010 with Kara Gold barley, which is normally used within brewing, but they used it anyway. And now they have a limited batch of 4,000, uh, 6,000 bottles. And yeah, hopefully I will get one of these as well. Then we have a more expensive bottles and they are from Beaumont. Omar 30 year, 40 year, and 1969, which is around 60 years. The 30 year old was bottled 2021 with 45.1% ABB, the 41 with 48.7% ABB, and yeah, the last one, I don't have a number for it. Yeah. Then we have a very, 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 very expect, uh, a special uh, release from McAllen. It's an 81 year old single cask bottle. And I repeat that, it's an 81 year old single cask bottling. Limited to 288 bottles, 41.6% ABV. It has a very, very special packaging with three bronze hands that holding up the bottle that represents the making of the whiskey. And unfortunately, I don't have a price for it, but um, you can just imagine it being astronomically high. Yeah. Then we have Glen Alaki, 21 year old batch number two, and McNair's Lumbry 10 years cask strength. The 21 year old Glen Alaki is made from 5px cask with 51.1% ABV in cask strength. And uh, yeah, the McNair's Lumbrig is 55.4% ABV, and it's again a blended malt between Isla and Speyside whiskies. Unfortunately, I don't know how many Lumbrigs will be out there, but it is usually not that limited as the other bottlings. Then we have the Dumfrail Distillery. The Dumfrail Distillery is a new distillery that is being kind of an offshoot from the Bimba Distillery in London. And yeah, the Bimba Distillery in London also produces gin and vodka. And the new distillery, the Dumfrail Distillery, they shall uh, not produce anything else but whiskey. So they are focusing on whiskey and hopefully they, yeah, kind of focusing their attention on whiskey to make it really good. Yeah. So that was it for this week. Hopefully next week my studio will be up and running. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.